Do you remember the feeling of holding your breath? Anyone remember? Maybe you show of hands? Anyone? All right. Now let's imagine. Imagine being fully immersed into the ocean and completely relaxed, gliding head first towards the ocean floor. Every second, you are slowly sinking deeper and deeper. Watching schools of fish swim past, that's free diving in its purest form, immersed into the stillness. So last year, my parents went for a free diving course. They kept telling me that I should try it one day. So, but trying out new things can be undoubtedly daunting for me, and especially since I was nervous about stepping out of my, out of my comfort zone. But the thrill of a new experience and curiosity have eventually persuaded me to try. So I did start. This here is a video, which is my first time trying out freediving. As you can see from it, I was really nervous, and my friend's equalization did not work sometimes. So what is friend's equalization? It's a method involves pinching our nose and using the larynx to push the air from your mouth into your nasal cavity, and then push into your middle ears. It's to ensure that your ears, sinuses, and the mask are equal to the ambient pressure surrounding us at a deeper depth. Being fully immersed into the ocean will lead your mind to a heavily meditative state. I clearly remember what my coach told me. The water is where we came from. We came into this world holding our breath. Naturally, human blood has a chemical composition that is similar to sea water. An infant will reflexively breaststroke when placed under water and can comfortably hold his or her breath for about 40 seconds, which is longer than many adults. But we lose this ability when we learn how to walk. As we grow older, we develop reflexes that allow us to dive into incredible depths. So it's crucial to release the tensions in your muscles and just relax. In my initial, initial stage of practicing before freediving into the ocean, I practiced freediving in the pool for a few times, which made me feel more ready to confront the challenges of freediving in the ocean. Looking down into the ocean, it's quiet, still, and dark. I had my last deep breath, relax, and ready to explore the mystery of the ocean. My heartbeat has slowed, blood withdraw from my extremities, and move into the spaces that my compressed lungs have created. At this depth, the pressure on my body is doubled than at the surface. 10 meters on the water on a red tail dive. Suspended at the point of neutral buoyancy, where the weight of water above cancels my body's natural flotation. Relax, tuck, glide, and repeat. Pressure increases, which I begin to fall with the unimpeded gravitational pull to the heart of the earth. Within a minute, I reach the ocean floor. Neither voice nor noise exists in this world of mine. With pure consciousness, bringing your rational mindset back, but your body is still completely relaxed. Just forget about your regrets, your worries, your hates, which irritates you so much in life. Give yourself some spaces to rest. To describe free diving, I would quote from one of my favorite free divers. It's the awareness of the presence and the presence in the awareness, he said. We have long been taught the idea of mind over matter, which our mind can accomplish anything it sets itself to. But our mind is not always meant to push through your body's limitations. 
when body and mind are pinned against each other, the discontent is sure to follow. And so, free diving allows your body and mind to work as one. That's the point of pres presence in the awareness. You are free, but at the same time, you are aware of the danger of the ocean. Many people told me that the best way to change your life is to start small. But for free diving, small can mean breathing in a completely different way. It's a reconnection with yourself and the exterior world. Noticing the changes that your body has to be aware of yourself and to be yourself. But take note not to exceed your limits. Whenever you feel uncomfortable, don't hesitate to return back to the surface. So from last few months of free diving, it has taught me several important lessons. Whenever I face challenges or emotional outbursts, I would take a long, deep breath and just focus on my task. For me, the ocean represents the unseen, untouched, and undiscovered wilderness. There are no emails down there, no social media, no car keys to lose, no terrorist threats, and of course, no birthdays to forget. All the stress, noise, and distractions of life are left behind at the surface. I guess this is the reason I fell for this amazing spot. Keep myself calm and just escape a few minutes from the surface. So, shall we take a free dive together? Thank you. This is Jaira from IV1N.